Hey friends, so today we are going to talk about my garbage. I haven't done like an empties video in maybe ever on my channel. If I have, it was one time, but I recently ran out of like three things all at once and I was like, this could be a fun video. We're gonna call it, call it talking trash. Trash talking about my trash. So we're gonna talk about some products, makeup, skincare, hair care, body stuff that I have recently used up and I need to uh, get rid of the containers uh, by recycling and or throwing away. Everything in here is not everything I've gone through. Like for instance, I've gone through more than one of these bottles of Bioderm in the last year. This is representative of what I've used in the last year, but not everything I've used up in the last year. You know what I mean? So let's just get started, shall we? Since I already talked about it, Bioderma. Um, I need to make an order just to order like several of these from Beauty Bay because Riley Rose, where I used to buy this, um, recently Forever 21 went bankrupt and the Riley Rose at the mall that I go to doesn't exist anymore. So I need to order this online. Uh, I've touted Bioderma's praises for literally years. I will keep purchasing it. I will keep using it. I already have a backup. I love it. I Need I say more? No. A deodorant I actually used up recently was one I got from Marshalls? TJ Maxx? One of the two. Um, this is from the brand A La Maison and it's a lavender aloe. If I find this again at a store, I'll buy it. I really liked it, but the problem is this is a brand that's not like easily accessible, I think. The fact that I found it at like Marshalls. Uh, Marshalls usually has like random things that are just left over from stuff. So if I find this again, I'll, I'll gladly buy it, but I'm not gonna seek it out, you know? Cause it's deodorant and like not that big of a deal, but it was good. It's good. And I get uh, sensitive pits at times and this didn't irritate it. Yeah. This uh, Saturday Skin, what is this? The Bright Potion Probiotic Power Serum. This I actually got from Octoly, via Octoly from Saturday Skin this year and this was good. Like it was a good serum, but it's really expensive. And I feel like it didn't do like so much to where I need to go out and buy it because it is quite spendy and I didn't really buy it the first time. It was good, but it wasn't good enough to purchase again. And I feel like I ran out of it really quickly. I don't know what it is. Like the eye cream, I still have some in it. And I ran out of this like a while ago. I'll probably repurchase the eye cream that I got from Saturday Skin, but not this serum. Like it's fine, but it's not like amazing, you know? Probably go back to Buffet from The Ordinary. I'll, I'll do a couple makeup products. Ugh. I guess it's only two. Um, that I can think of that I used up. Well, no, I used up one of the uh, Cover Effects concealers this year. I bought a new one. I have since trashed it. I didn't feel like keeping the container around because it's tiny and awkward, but the Bare Minerals Bare Pro I have since repurchased. I think now I'm on the third bottle of this that I've gone through and I love it. I love this foundation. I don't feel like anybody talks about it enough. And when I run out of that one, I'll probably buy it again because I, like I like the Anastasia foundation, but I feel like this just felt better on my face, you know? Like I don't get any sort of irritation from this. And I got eczema. You got eczema? And then the Essence Lash Princess. This is the um, the sculpted volume. This one's pretty much empty. I need to actually toss it, but I've gone through like probably three of the uh, false lash effect ones. One with the green label. I love this mascara so much. I feel like I'm only ever gonna talk about this mascara. I, I can't imagine finding another mascara that is as good for as cheap as this is. This is like $5. So good, so good. Some hair stuff that I've gone through. This is another thing I actually found at Marshall's. It is the Theory Monoy and Brie Oil Glossing Conditioner. It's for medium to coarse hair types. This was good. I don't know what, honestly, the price of it is full price. Again, this is something that I found at Marshall's, so I'm not going to like search it out. I have since started using one of the new Lush conditioners that Libby and I both really like. So I'll probably not purchase this again because like it was fine, but it was not like life changing. You know, I switch up con uh, conditioners quite a bit. Conditioners and shampoos, I probably switch up more than anything for sure. <laughs> but it's good. If you have dry hair, if you have medium to coarse hair, this is a good conditioner, but I'm also not like 
the pickiest person when it comes to conditioner. I just don't want silicones in my conditioner. My detox dry shampoo from Dry Bar. This is the coconut colada scent. I can't decide if this is my favorite scent or the Lush scent is. Um, I've already repurchased a, a backup of this because this is empty as shit. And I know I'll get people in the comments being like, you should try the Dove or the Suave dry shampoo. I know I should, but this one's just been really trusty for me. Like I've, I, I haven't felt the need to switch it up. I know it's expensive. It's definitely worth it because like my hair just feels and looks so nice. You guys compliment me on my hair more than anything in any of my videos. And I attribute it to several factors, this being one of it. Um, another thing that is a factor in my shiny hair is the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. And this is empty. I have one that's almost empty that I actually need to like probably just buy a new one because I have two that I'm almost out of at the same time. Advan Advanced Dry Thermal Protectant. So it's a heat protectant, but at the same time, it makes your hair dry faster. Don't know how, some sort of witchcraft, but I spray this on my hair when it's damp, right when I've just kind of towel dried my hair. I put in my R&B hair moisturizer, my leave-in conditioner, and then this and my hair is soft, shiny, protected, dries fast. I never really blow dry my hair, but I feel like if I'm air drying it, this still makes it dry faster. Again, don't know how, but it does. It's very good. This I actually got sent to me via Octoly as well, but I was already using it. So I will definitely be repurchasing it because I love it. I'll probably get a big size, honestly, because not like I take it with me that many places. I don't wash my hair elsewhere usually. Um. Couple more face stuff before we get to Lush products. I have my Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. I already have a backup of this. I should probably buy one during the sale while I can because these are quite expensive. But I think I've gone through maybe like two or three of these this year. I'm not sure. I'd have to go look back at my purchase history, but I love this fucking setting spray. I've tried the dewy one and I feel like this one has a nicer finish on my skin. The dewy one just ends up looking too greasy on me. This one just looks nice and glowy because it has that like fine micro shimmer in it. I love it. Towards the end of the bottle, the spray bottle itself gets a little wonky. So I might like towards the end of a bottle, like put it in like an old lush spray bottle because I feel like it gets not like clogged, but just like something doesn't want to come out of the spray bottle. But yeah, I've been turned on to this. Did I even use this last year? I feel like I did. I don't remember. And then one thing that I've actually just tossed the lid from is I finally finished my first thing of the Agave Lip Mask by Beauty. Like apparently they're reformulating it. I don't know how I feel about it because I really like this formula and I bought, like I have the maple one, which is like a kind of tinted caramel color. And then I bought, I bought another just like OG original last time I was at Sephora because once I heard that they were reformulating it, I'm like, no, no, you're not. No, you're not. So I might buy another one during the sale because I, uh, I love it that much and it's that good. Okay, Lush products, here we go. How many containers of Celestial has Abby finished? I have one more in the, in my other room that is almost done. Celestial is my facial moisturizer. I go through this stuff like, this one was made in June 2019 and I already finished it. This one was made, oh, this one was made in June. This one was made in July and this one was made in January. So this was the first one I used. There's gotta be another one in there. I've probably have gone through like four of these, at least four or five, almost. Well, there was one more in here, I swear, maybe, I don't know. I love Celestial. Uh, I go through it, I use it, it's great for my skin. I don't see myself switching up my moisturizer anytime soon because it's that good and my face is sensitive and this works for me. I finished out a, a thing of the Pink Peppermint Foot Lotion, completely empty. And, ooh, God, it smells so good. This is uh, a great foot lotion for pain. Um, it's a cocoa butter and spearmint and peppermint kind of base and almond oil. And uh, so if you have nut allergies, be aware. But it also has Arnica infusion in it. So Arnica is an anti-inflammatory that a lot of times you can get in a gel from like the drugstore. They infuse it in probably water and almond oil of some sort and 
put it in this and it's so nice for pain. You can put it on your abdomen when you got cramps, seriously. Your feet at the end of the day and the mint is nice and cooling and it's moisturizing. Uh, gives you the softest feet. Fucking love it. Ooh, this was made in April of this year and I finished it. So you get to see how much fucking lotion I use. I use a lot of lotion because I already finished one of these. Now see the size difference? When it comes to dream cream, I'm a size queen. This is the normal size, the eight, about eight ounce pots of Lush lotions. Up until recently, this was the largest size you could get of anything. They recently switched it up and came up with a 16 ounce container. And I have a 16 ounce container of the Lord of Misrule body conditioner that I bought online. And then when they had the 16 ounce container of dream cream, I was like, Fuck yes, I need that in my life because I use dream cream like crack. So I bought this and this was made when? May, and I have finished it already, completely. There's like a little bit at the bottom, but dream cream is the lotion that has kept me going back to Lush for so long. And I worked at Lush for three years, like four years ago. So like I have a lot of products that I've used over the years and dream cream is one that I will never be off that grind. Oat milk, rose water, olive oil, cocoa butter, glycerin. It's just, and I already have another large one. Like the fact that I went and I bought it and they were like, wait, you've already used it up. And I'm like, yeah, bitch, of course I have. Um, I finished out a bottle of the bubbly shower gel, which I think they came out with last year. No, this is fucking old. That's how long I've been on my bullshit. This came out in September of 2016 and it technically expired two years ago. I need to stop buying Lush things. But this was, I guess this was like two years ago? Fucking hell, man. Um, it was a shower gel that was like grape juice and it smelled amazing. I have so many shower gels that I just finished this tiny ass bottle. Throw it away, recycle it. This one goes in number five recycling, number one, number one recycling. I just have to rinse it out really. I will be doing a full Lush collection video during Vlogmas. So look forward to that. Um, and that will include some of the holiday things that I got this year, which is like three things. So I didn't go ham. And the last things we're going to talk about are two shower gels that I feel like I've been holding on to for way too long <laughs> that um, should have been tossed a long time ago, but because I love the smells that much, I did not want to let them go. Speaking of smells, I went to the Lush store today to pick up a new thing of Celestial and they have the goddess perfume. Oh baby, that thing smells amazing. Holy shit. Prince Charming Shower Gel and Lord of Misrule Shower Cream. This bottle is from specifically 2015. It was made in um, September of 2015. So it was from holiday 2015 when I still worked at Lush. This is from when I still worked at Lush. Both of these are to be fair. Lord of Misrule is one of my favorite scents of all time. I never want to let it go. I have a backup perfume. I have a, a perfume oil. I love it. It's patchouli and black pepper and vanilla and it's perfect. And I just finished this bottle of shower cream and I'm really sad about it because it's so good. And I don't, they didn't bring it back for Halloween and Christmas this year. So I'm sad. I still have the body conditioner though in the large pot. So it's not like I'll be without the scent forever. It's just <sighs> so good. Rude. And then Prince Charming. There's still like a teeny tiny bit left in the bottle, but for all intents and purposes, it's empty. Let's see how old this bottle is, shall we? This is from 2014. Made December of 2014. Expired in February of 2016. Does it smell fine still? Yes. I just desperately hope desperately hope because I think I have like a teeny tiny bottle of Prince Charming left. This is like marshmallow and grapefruit and pomegranate. It's so fucking good. And I have a tiny bottle of it left in my cabinet in the bathroom. And I really hope that they bring it back for Valentine's Day this year because Valentine's releases the last two years were absolute shit. And I want this back in a large bottle because I love it so much. I want it in a perfume. I want it forever. It's so refreshing. God, this truly... I think this came out originally the first year I worked at Lush because uh, I started working there during like the summertime. So I think this was like the first Valentine's Day that I worked. So about, I don't know, nine months after I started. And it's, it's such a nostalgic scent for me specifically because of that. 
that I just want to always have it because it was such a good time working at Lush. Say what you will about retail and say what you will about like, I don't know, having to sell things like crazy, but I love working at Lush and I will always love the time that I had there. I do. I need to. That's actually like, that's a lot of trash. I'm really happy about this. Well, with the the pots, I'm gonna save these. Uh, I, these are the only ones that I truly save because you can bring in five empty pots and trade it in for a free fresh face mask. So I will be keeping these in a cabinet, but everything else I'm just gonna be recycling and or tossing. Um, I have five pots. Perfect. Literally, you just need five and you clean them out, you bring them to the store, you'd be like, Here's five empty pots. Give me my fresh face mask, please. Don't do that, but bring in your five empty pots cleaned and you can get a free mask. And they're normally like $9 or something, eight, nine dollars. So you can get them for free because they encourage recycling. The bowl of trash. I feel pretty good about that. Like there's other things that I have finished in the last several months that I've just tossed that I didn't feel like keeping because I don't keep things that are empty for so long. I don't know, like some things I'll keep, but there was just a lot of things that were finished recently all at once that I thought, hmm, I could do an empties video. That's the thing that people like watching. So that was that. That was an empties video. That was, that was a thing that I did that you guys can watch and I hope you enjoyed. Um, today's song of the day. Let's see what I've been listening to. I hope you guys have checked out my full playlist and my record collection video because I have like a full ass 64 songs on a playlist. I'll leave a link to it in the description and in the card. So if you're ever wondering what kind of music I'm listening to, that's a pretty good barometer because uh, it's a lot of that. So let's see. Ooh, actually. Ooh, okay. 16 by Highly Suspect. It's off their brand new uh, album. I think MCID stands for My Crew Is Dope. The album title is a little cringy for me, but you know, but the song's really good. 16 is a good song. Um, I would love to see them play live if they came over here that they play on the East Coast, like all the fucking time. They don't play up in Seattle. Fucking New England bands not come into the Pacific Northwest. But yeah, your song of the day is 16 by Highly Suspect. Let me know if you would like me to keep doing like a trash talking, talking trash series. Uh, Cause I, I do want people to know that I do use up products and that I do still buy products as much as I talk about anti-consumerism and about things that I don't want to buy. I still do buy things and I still use them up. So I don't watch empties regularly on other people's channels, but I know that every, a lot of people like watching them. And so if you would like me to keep doing this, let me know and I can do it on like a, I don't know, not on like a regular basis because I feel like I don't use up a lot of things a lot and probably a lot of things that I talked about in this video, like the hair stuff and the skin stuff would be the same. Let me know if you want me to do it on like a, on a, on a more than one time basis, you know, because if you like it, I want to give you more. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks to my patrons. As always, y'all are great. Um, I will leave a link to where I got my jewelry in the description. Um, I have some new rings that I have inherited from a friend of mine. But um, yeah, if you're new here and you liked this video, hit that subscribe button. That would be awesome. I would very much appreciate it. Give this video a like if you liked it and I will see you all in my next video. Now I'm gonna throw this stuff away and recycle it. I have too much stuff. Fuck.